These sounds are in almost every plugin. They can help your beats sound so much more unique and interesting, and yet so few producers ever even look in here. Today, I'm gonna to show you five beat making hacks that will help you come up with better beat ideas and get your beats to sound far more unique and interesting. Starting with hack number one. This will help you come up with infinite new sounds and samples using the sounds that you already have by recycling them. You'll save millions of dollars on sample packs so you can finally upgrade your computer. Here's how it's done. First, find a sound in your library. Here I'm just going to use this piano sample, which came from a sound pack you get if you join my course, Better Beatmaker. Cheap little plug there. Now what you want to do is take an EQ and listen to the different frequency regions of your sound. Most likely you'll find there's a dominant frequency region that your sound primarily sits in. So in this example, it's over here. If we just isolate this section, it still sounds like a piano. But there's a different frequency range where it starts to sound like a completely different instrument if we isolate it. So let's take this EQ and really get rid of all those primary frequencies and really emphasize those secondary frequencies so they become dominant and primary. Your sample is going to start to sound really different after doing this, but there is a problem that you'll run into with this technique. This works fine if you want to play higher pitch notes, but as soon as I play any lower notes, the EQ cuts them off. That's why the next step is to print this sound out. By doing this, you'll be able to use this recycled version of your sample just like any other instrument. So here's the pattern that I built using this recycled sound, which sounds just far more unique than my piano sample. And now I can make a cool beat using this. So that's sample recycling. By the way, if you guys enjoy these videos, hit like and subscribe and let's climb up that algorithm. Let's move on to the next hack. Using sounds for an entirely different purpose than what they're meant for is a really unique approach for starting your beat. For example, let's take the sound here. One common way to repurpose your sound is for your bass. Instead of using a typical bass texture like an 808 or a bass guitar, you can use a sound or a one shot that actually isn't meant to be a bass. If I play it at a really low pitch, it starts to sound like a more unique bass texture. I can push this idea even further by using tools and plugins to recolor the sound and manipulate the pattern itself, making this a really unconventional way to start my beat. So here's how this bass pattern would have sounded if I just used a typical 808. Nothing too special, but here's how my unique bass and bass pattern sounds. Recently I asked my audience how they usually start their beats, and the fewest amount of people chose other, only 8%, and this category is where you can find so many unique ideas for your beats so they just stand out more. For example, starting a beat using a percussion loop, but not just any percussion loop, this is an important difference. You probably have a bunch of these kinds of percussion loops in your library. These are often used as a small layer of detail in your beats, not a particularly interesting way to start your beat if you're to use these. What I'm talking about is using percussion loops that just have far more character and actually sound unique and take up a lot more space like these ones. When using them, I would recommend using a sampler to bring them into your project. That way using them at whatever BPM you want becomes much easier since they'll auto stretch. Another idea is to stack multiple percussion loops on top of each other and by combining multiple loops you introduce a polyrhythm into your beat. Something else you may have noticed about this percussion loop compared to a typical one is that they often have a musical element to them. Cool little percussion sounds that play at multiple different pitches, so your beat actually has some musicality in it as well. 
At this point, I can just add in a drum pattern, maybe one or two more sounds, and this beat would probably sound pretty full. Next, let's talk about plugins. There are sounds and presets that you've probably never explored, but you definitely should. These sounds are in almost every plugin. They can help your beats sound so much more unique and interesting, and yet so few producers ever even look in here. Which is the effects category. At first, I thought these sounds were just actually sound effects. If you had a twin, I would still choose you. I don't want to rush into it if it's too But with most plugins, this is actually where all the miscellaneous sounds end up. So you can find some really unique sounds in here. This is true even if you use stock plugins. Here I'm using Biohazard, which is an FL Studio plugin. If I go into the SFX category, you can hear that we have some cool sounds in here that we can use. This sounds like a synthetic flute or something, just really unique. Next, I'll open up Poison, another FL Studio plugin, and again, in the SFX area, we have a yet another cool sound in here. Let's also look at Morphine, this also has an SFX area, and we'll use this small percussive sound, and all together, we can make a beat out of this. If you found these hacks helpful, I would recommend checking out the video right next to me. In it, I show you really helpful hacks for using one shots. You'll learn some really unique sound design tips that will help your beats stand out even more. So go ahead and click it. What are you, chicken or something? Come on, man. Click it. <laughs>